Good morning. So we are getting up. My phone has been dead like this whole time because I don't really have any service here, so I'm just not. Well, I've been worried about it, but I just turned it on. I was checking some messages. We got this sweet birthday message for Tyler, and I just wanted her to share it with you guys. Look, from one of our friends from YouTube. Ready? Hi Tyler, this is Lara from Germany. Um, maybe you don't remember the picture I sent you last year for your fourth birthday, but it's been one year ago now, and uh, oh, now it's your birthday again. Like and so it. happy birthday, Tyler! Or uh, herzlichen Glückwunsch, like we would say in Germany. Um, Yes, I know I'm a little late, um, and I hope you can forgive me, but it's another time zone over here, and yeah, I missed it. Um, I, have, I hope you had a wonderful day, um, full of fun and friends and of course presents. Um, yeah, I love you and your family, and um, many greetings from Germany. Have a great day. Oh, is that so nice? Does it make you feel so sweet? Look, it's like Do you want to say thank you right here? Uh, Camera? Thank you! So, did you have a good birthday? Let everybody know. Yeah, how was your birthday? Tyler, look at the camera now. Hey, stop playing it, please. Look at the camera. Hey, you how was your birthday? Great! What'd you get? A uh, roller skates and jump and rope and... Careful, the stairs are right behind you. And lots of boards and... I even got Oh yeah, you're skipping jump rope. So Danielle and I are getting to venture off together without children. Don't worry, we're not getting in the ocean because John won't let me get in the ocean. You can get in the ocean, I just don't want to get in the ocean. We're out, finally. We're out. It's a little warm out, but it's a perfect beach day if we were getting in the water, but we're not. John won't let us. Anyway, yeah, it's nice. So you know, our kids have been a little bit like, it's hard for them to adjust. Like Jude and Elena, every day they take about a three hour nap. Two to three hours, like both of them. Tyler is hit or miss with nap, even though she needs one, but she can go without one. Well, here we are on day four, you know, where the kids haven't napped at all. None of them, not even Jude. Not even Judy. At two and a half, she hasn't been taking naps. And then they're not even falling asleep early. They're staying up, like, we put them to bed, but they keep getting up until like eight or nine o'clock. And miserable, and I think that that is taking its toll on our parents because they're not used to that. But they also don't realize that that's not, you know, our kids aren't always like that. It's just these are really extenuating circumstances for them. So we're trying to show grace with the kids and not be like and our parents <laughs> and our parents and not be like this is them for everything because they're, they're just tired. They're tired or they're hungry or whatever. But mostly they're tired. But they're too excited. I don't feel like we're able to leave all the kids with them. Not because they couldn't handle it, but because I feel like they're a little bit overwhelmed by our kids right now. Because our kids aren't acting like themselves. Yeah. They're, kind of, they're, acting like the, they're acting like themselves without naps. Yes. At their worst. So we can have the grace for it because we understand it. But I think for them, they only see them these short little kids of time. So when they see them, I don't know either, but I do know that we're going to the beach and my feet look like this. <laughs> Let's see if we can see my feet. You can see them. Look at that. That's compliments of Judy. Judy the beautician. Yeah, if you can't hear us, it's because it's windy. Who wants to come yeah. with us next year and help watch our kids? Yeah, if you want to come to the beach, comment below, let us know because we'll take you with us next year. Um, yeah, you have to watch our kids. I mean, you can have fun with us as well, but, you know, we'll trade off. I just feel like I've been kind of like, blah, since I've been here, you know what I mean? It's been nice, but it also just kind of feels like, I'm just kind of like, I don't really have anything to say, I don't have anything to, I'm not thinking about it, I think my mind's just like, blah. And Adeline has cut her second tooth today, so she's not been sleeping because she's been teething. So there's that. Yeah. We need to come out at night and go ghost crab hunting. 
then you need to get me some boots because I ain't put my feet in the sand with all these crabs. Look, there's so much more beach. Oh, I know, and there's not that many people out here. And look at all the shells. We should have brought the bag to collect shells for the girls. We should have come out here at Today. this time. Today would have been a good beach day. Oh, look at all those shells over there. If there's any shark teeth over there. I will never find a shark. I know. That's like my one goal. That's my bucket list item. To find a sinking shark's tooth on the beach. I've never found one. And I'm always like, how the heck do these people make all these necklaces out of shark teeth? Okay, and fishers, have them fishermen that catch sharks. And they just rip their teeth out? They sell them. And then throw them back in the water? No, they sell them. Oh. Anyways, that's my goal, is to find a sinking shark's tooth. I have my toes. Hide it's gonna be toes. hard to hide them. Like, look how much they just stand out in the sunlight. Dig them in the sand. Don't look at my feet. Anyways, let's go for a walk, babe. Me and you. Look at all this. What is all this goop? A glass, this goopy a goop. Bottle. A glassy bottle. Oh yeah, that's a that's a um, horseshoe crab. There's a few of them. Yeah, there's like pieces Dude, of them. What there's happened? Little, there's a little big crab. Where? Right there. It's a little. Small. Oh yeah. What happened? What happened here? There's Where been a catastrophe. I think a whale threw. Oh, is this a whale vomit? Is that what we're stepping in? That wouldn't make sense. It's got all the gunky gunk and all these crabs. Look, here's a crab right here. Something happened here. Something disastrous happened here. And I'm gonna find out what it was. Sure is. Oh, look at that conch shell. That's beautiful. That's a. Pr I've never found one this, in such good shape. I just had to tell my dad that. Look, there's a tail. Look at that. Here, let me see that. Put that up here so people can see that. I found this. Look at how perfect shape that is. Not any breaks or cracks or holes. Good job. I'm surprised that you found that and no one else got it sooner. John just picked it. up a thing with a crab in it. That's why it's such a good shape because it's got a crab in there. Let's take it back to show Tyler. I want to come out and pinch me. I don't think he'll come out while you're carrying them. Don't you come out of there. That's so cute. I really wish Tyler was with us now so she could see all these shells. She's sleeping. I would never wake her up for this. hermit crab in there. We just found two beach rarities. Yeah, if we're gonna find a shark's tooth, today is the day for sure. Let's see. Oh, Tyler would have a field day down here. I know, I wish we had the kids out here now. How what is that? Is how funny is it that as soon as we get away and come down the beach, all we can think about is how much you we know, wish Tyler the kids. and Elena would love this and how we want to bring them down here to see all these things. Yeah. This is like the perfect time. There's like the waves are g everything. The water's gentle. All these shells are on the beach. Look at that. I mean, look at it all. Seriously, the water is so gentle. Found a hermit crab in what here. He's a little beady. I'm not sure. Move him. Move him up and down. Yeah. Hermit crab's coming out. I'm scared now. I mean, his pinchers are hardly anything. And that probably can't even pinch me with him. But he's like, put me back. Take me It's, a, it's the hermit crab version. Oh, Lord. You didn't even think about that. It's just like Danielle, she throws toys away from the kids, with like broken toys. And she doesn't think about the fact that they might have lives that we don't know about. So we're walking back to the beach access, or at least in that direction. So far, I haven't seen a shark's tooth well, in our or a shark. We haven't really been down. I'm not digging into it, but I was kind of hoping I'd just find one laying. Yeah, that's why John's never found one. <laughs> no, I used to like take the little thing and sift through, but it'd just be proven hours of wasted time. So I'm still going to look on my way back, but I'm not counting on it. We did pretty good though with the conch shell and this hermit crab that I think is still in there. He's sunken He's deep in there. He may have jumped out. He may be like, I'm out of here. All right. What'd you see? That. Pick it up. What is it? I don't know. Pick it up. I'm scared to pick it up. Pick it up. It's just another, uh, it's just a piece of a... Uh, oh, it's got, little, it's got little, it's got little barnacles on it. Look at the barnacles. Barnacles. All right. 
I thought it was like octopus something or other. No, it was an octopus. Here. But I was a little scared to pick it up. You were afraid? I see another hermit crab. He's holding on for dear life. Ooh, ooh. Ah! I'm scared of him. I don't want him to hurt me. Hold on. Another hermit crab right there. Got him, look at that one. Wow. That one's in a conch shell, an old conch shell. I guess they're all old conch shells. Go back? Cool. Yeah, let's take them back and show Tyler. All right, we're gonna head back and get these, uh, see if we can get the kids out here. Yeah, woohoo, kids. No, but really, just the big kids. Jude is too much. She runs right in the water without ceasing or hesitating. So we decided we're not gonna take the kids out tonight. It's a little later. Um, after dinner than we thought it would be and they're super grumpy so um, We'll try to take them out tomorrow a little later so they can kind of do the same thing that we were just doing All right, we're out of here. We'll see you guys later Hey, thanks for watching make sure you click the subscribe button to follow along with the Murrays Subscribe